was recorded just, just in case it's actually a good one um i'm gonna turn off my light and eh, actually since it's night time you know we might need them on right you know i'm just joking i might actually turn them off it's a little bit too bright in here we ain't no pussy chat Okay, don't play that noise, bro. I'm turning off my lights, bro. Don't do this to me right now. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, lights the next are on. was inspired by a water park mishap that occurred in Indonesia. Bro, what I like about this guy's video videos, they have a real background to them, so you know the story is 100% real. Water park rides tend to have a weight capacity limit or a number of persons allowed at one time. But for this particular occasion, the standard I'm hating the background music, but get over with. Requirements were definitely not a factor due to the outcome of the accident. We wanted to create a dramatized version inspired by the alleged occurrence. Before everything got shut down, my girlfriend and I traveled to Indonesia. That may seem like a strange pick, but my biggest reason for going there was the price. Everything there was dirt cheap compared to back home, and this was the first time we'd been able to save up enough money to go anywhere. But even then, we'd heard the news about what was going on in the world at the time, and had the suspicion that this might be the last chance we had to go on a real vacation for a long while. Due to all that mess, we What's were up? spending a little more Am than we planned to make sure we got to do everything we wanted and then some. One of the less intelligent decisions was to go to this water park we'd seen so many advertisements about ever since we started planning our trip. It was said to be the biggest water park in the country with all sorts ass. of huge <laughs> crazy rides okay, bro, and slides to go on. I've always been a bit of a geek when it came to theme parks and such, so I'd been thinking about buying tickets the whole time. But it wasn't until our last day there, which was also the hottest day of the entire sweltering week, that I managed to get my girlfriend to agree under the guise of beating the heat. She's always been terrified of heights and large bodies of water and drowning, <gasps> but she's... Bro, I cannot stand heights. I, I start shaking when I go up high. I, I don't know why, but I can't stand heights. She's been kind of scared of everything, so I usually just convince her to get over her fears. It was hard enough getting her on a plane in the first place, but I had lots of practice persuading her. I can and get her on a plane. Me to the place for a little while. She I seemed travel. to be okay with the lazy river, I like but travel. I personally never heard more of a boring concept. After she wasn't on the verge of tears anymore, I said it was my turn to pick where we went. And of course, I chose the meanest, coolest water slide I could see. The tallest one in the park, with the longest line that gave away its popularity. My girlfriend was not happy about it, but she came along. It wasn't until we started lining up on the stairs that she got antsy. Oh my god, we're up so high. Let me just, let me just hold on to you. It's okay, this thing is solid structure. We're not going anywhere. I don't care, it's too high. Can't we just, I don't know, stay on the island with the white sandy beaches and the crystal... Bro, I hate that stuff when, when you go to a water park and you go up the stairs. And there's a huge line, but you have to wait on the stairs, and it's like up so high, and it's like, oh my god, bro. I felt like holding out for my dear life, you know what I'm saying? Water and enjoy ourselves? I'm not gonna waste our last bit of vacation on tanning with a bunch of senior citizens wearing Speedos and jock straps. There's too many people on this thing. Oh god, I can feel it swaying. It's not swaying. Your legs are probably just weak from last night. <laughs> the line was crawling, Whoa, and there wasn't any to order mean. to it either. The entire stairwell was packed with people, and even though we were in the shade, the humid heat that's classic to Indonesia was An slowly ad, bro, sweating I hate ads, bro. The Why? The Why do they the even ads have ads? Like this one, yes, I like am sick of the ads. ads. .com. Click on activate now. Fuck off. The higher up we got, the more of a breeze I should have listened, maybe it would have helped. I was thankful for that, but my girlfriend okay. couldn't stop looking down. Babe, if you're so terrified of heights, why don't you stop looking at the ground? Look at the clouds or something. It's she hard not to. She with daggers in her eyes, but didn't say anything. Her jaw was clenched shut, chattering with fear. I recognized that she was getting more anxious, but I'd been easing her fear so much for that entire trip, I was hoping that she could just be an adult just one time and deal with it herself. Eventually, we finally reached the top platform. It's not being an adult and deal with it for yourself, but when you're scared of heights and you get that feeling and when you're up there, but it's like, 
fuck, you can't even control it, bro. Like, Affair it's too much. The line was pretty long, too. The attendants were trying to speed things along by allowing people to go into the slide before the last person was all the way out. I knew immediately that something like that would never fly in a water park that I was used to going to. But I couldn't argue that it was moving things along. The first part of the slide was a huge drop. But then, it had all these twists and turns toward the bottom that made it take forever to get through. If it had to be one at a time, the wait might have been hours. One by one, we watched all the people in front of us go down the chute. But I just knew that my girlfriend was about to freak out by the look in her eyes. He was as pale as a ghost. No! No! I can't! I'm not going down there! I, let me down! I ran to her and grabbed her so she wouldn't run away. Babe, calm down. It's just a slide. It'll be fine. It'll be fun, even. You just have to take a little chance. But I promise you're gonna be okay. She couldn't even make out words at that point. Her face was all red and scrunched up like a little kid throwing a fit. And tears were streaming down her face. She was even dripping snot from her nose, and she just wouldn't stop shaking. All she did was look me in the eye and shake her head. She had herself anchored so I couldn't take her any closer to the slide. I looked around and realized just how many people were staring at us. Embarrassed, I accepted the fact that I wasn't going to change her mind. Alright, fine, let's go. I escorted her down the stairs, having to force a bunch of people out of the way the entire time. I realized I was doing the water park walk of shame. I'd seen so many scaredy cats making the long walk down in my day, but... I never thought that I ain't gonna lie, I've done the walk. I've done the walk. I ain't gonna lie. I've I've went to a roller coaster. See if it was a slide, I would I would have happily went down a slide. When I go to a water park, I'm over there, I'm scared of heights, but I still go down almost every single slide. But I went, when I went to a roller coaster park and I saw how high it was, bro, I, I had to do the walk of shame. I acted like I was on the phone, but everyone knew I wasn't. They started laughing at me, but I didn't know I cared, bro. I went out. I wanted out of there. And I did. I left. I left. It didn't matter because <laughs> it was Lord bad, knows but I, still I left. never let my woman go anywhere on her own in a foreign country like that. When we got to the bottom, I had about one full second to feel sorry for myself about missing the chance to go down the slide. That's when I felt water spilling from the air, like someone was dumping water on our heads from the top of the line. <coughs> when I looked up, I saw the bottom of the tube slide split open. Out came a torrent of gushing water, and in that stream of water, people, they fell with the flood and hit the ground like bricks. Suddenly, the entire park was screaming, panicking, and swarming the area, and my girlfriend was absolutely petrified. The water kept spilling out of the hole in the slide. And to my terror, people kept falling out of it. I don't know how many people... How, how do people keep falling out of it when... Oh, when there's a weight when you go down, bruh. Be more realistic. Say two people fell out. Okay, that, 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 that's a little more real. But people kept falling. Yeah, hundreds and hundreds and thousands and millions. And the whole earth just started pouring down. It's like, bro, calm, calm down. Calm down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Calm down. I'm trapped in the dark calm down. <laughs> that slide before it finally broke. But it must have been close to 30. There was this grotesque... Did he say... Did he say 30 people? Bro, bro, chill out, bro. He said two at a time. No, not even two at a time. He said before the other person gets out, like he's about to get out, the other person goes. So basically, two people would fall, that's it. But no, 30 people fell. 30 people. So, bro, chill out, bro. Chill pile out. of unconscious injured patrons right beneath the break. Thankfully, nobody died that day, but many people were seriously injured. Of course, I've had to pay more real attention to my girlfriend's anxieties, because now she believes she's some sort of clairvoyant. What's worse is I just can't enjoy water slides like I used to anymore, because I can't help but think about what it would have been like to be trapped in such a strange, mysterious tube. Hey, bro, if you go... If you go to a water park enough, you would know the hack. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. The hack is, you can stop yourself at the slide. If you didn't know that, you stupid. I'm just joking. But yes, you can 100% stop yourself. If you go to a side where there's no water, the water pours down the middle. If you go to a side, 
it literally stopped making you go down. I, I did it on accident my first time ever doing it. I was at the water park with my friends. And I went to the side and they stopped me. I was like, oh, oh shit, I can just stop. But then they started whistling at me, so I had to go back in the middle. And I went to another slide and I wanted to test it out again. I tested it out and it worked again. I'm like, oh shit, so you can literally stop yourself. But they keep whistling at you if you do it. But you can do it. But another ad, chat, another ad. But I try and talk fast for you guys, so this you guys. I try and talk fast for you guys, so you guys don't be annoyed that I keep pausing and stuff because I do pause a lot. Those I'm sorry. Tingling footages on the net. The mishap took place in Israel and has made headlines across the internet. We don't want to give too many details away and would much rather have the animation speak for itself. Here's a dramatized version of the alleged occurrence. Every year, my family and I would visit my relatives in Israel, and this year, one of my co why? Why are you drawing? Bro, he's looking creepy as fuck. Chill Cousins out with that drawing. And we go to a water park event where he was the host. From the bottom of my heart, I wanted to say no because I've had aquaphobia for as long as I can remember. But before I had the chance to decline the offer, my parents had already said yes to avoid unnecessary social issues within the family. So that's the guy that's telling this story. To be honest, I thought he was going to be the freak of the story or the creep or whatever you want to call it. Why would you draw him like that, bro? Bro, no, this is not it. So not eventually, it. we all went to the party. You're making me look behind me now. I I'm to. creeped when out. When we arrived, I saw hundreds of people sweeping the dance floor as they enjoyed a concoction of sorts. Typically, I would have worn a life vest or flotation device, but my pride got the better of me, and I didn't want my cousin to push me around like he used to when we were younger. Moments later, my cousin wrapped his arm around my neck, rapturous at the sight of me, looking terrified. Why are your balls so small? Oh Man God, the hell bro. up! Did you wake up and choose anarchy? Why don't you mind your own business and get off my back? I said, puffing my- If that's your cousin, bro, I feel bad for you, bro. He's giving you nightmares. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Why you gotta draw them like that? Chill Just out with that. Myself seem Chill out. However, it only made me more creepy aggressive as, as he replied. Why would I get off your back if you reminded me of my ex? And then, with Whoa. a serpentine look, he added, Wait a minute. Don't tell me you're still afraid of the water. My silence was a dead giveaway, and my cousin smirked at the thought he had the upper hand. I don't believe it. <laughs> he laughed. Leave me the hell alone, or I'm calling the cops! I replied defensively. Moments later, a group... You ever to call the cops on your own cousin just because he told you you're scared of water? Bro, calm down, bro. Chill out. It's not that big of a deal. Calm down. Group of guys my dude my over here is fist bumping with him. I never wanted anyone to know about my fear of water, but knowing my cousin, this was an opportunity he simply couldn't resist. Guys, hear this! He paused to build up the climax. Did you know my cousin over here is 18 years old and is afraid of the water? <laughs> Maybe he should go to the kiddie pool. I bet his poppy hand scrubs him when he bathes. <laughs> it's not funny! You don't know what I've been through! Who cares about what you've been through? This isn't a support group. I was utterly humiliated and embarrassed to see all the other people around looking at me like I was some kind of freak. They chuckled and whispered like I was the only adult. I mean, don't get me wrong. The way they drew you and your cousin, you, you do look like a freak. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be fucked up. And just like that, I became the center of attention and not the kind I would like to keep in my memory bank. Whenever I attended a party, I always wanted to look cool. But this time, I wasn't so lucky. And all of his pals looked down on me like wolves, branding me as their prey. I left them behind and went up to a tall water slide, where I tried to compose myself. But I was afraid of heights. As I got to the top, vertigo took over me. And I began... Now, now I can't make fun of you. When, when we talk about heights, I can't make fun of you. Because I feel you. Heights is a bitch, bro. We we can't go up there. It's too much. Yeah, now I feel you. Now, now we brothers. Now we can relate. Sir, 
you don't have to go in if you can't handle it. Moments later, I heard my cousin God say, damn, bro. Oh, don't... Poor Why thing. did they draw him like that, bro? Michael Jackson. Why did they look creepy as fuck? Let's get you to a clinic or something. I knew. Look at his teeth. Sarcastic and condescending. Looking like he got so knives. I replied, get away from me. Why don't you and your minions go hang out somewhere else? Then what? Miss out on all the fun you're giving us? Not a moment too soon, he pushed me so hard that I lost my balance, Oof. falling into the tall, dangerous water slide. Ah! As I made it to the end of the slide, I instantly submerged into the water and struggled to stay afloat. Help! Somebody help! I struggled in the water, but no one paid attention. The music was so loud that no one could hear me scream for help. And everyone was in party mode, too drunk to notice an emergency. Moments later, one of the floaters came close enough for me to hold on to. And then, I paddled my feet until I reached the gutter and got myself out of the water. After that, I looked straight ahead and saw my cousin giggling as he high-fived his buddies. I knew this would happen. I was full of regret. I did everything possible to avoid my cousin and his group of obnoxious teenagers. And so, I bought a life jacket and kept it on at all times, <laughs> just in case they ever found me again and decided to pull off another cruel trick. And then, moments later, I reached the wave pool, which simulated actual waves produced at sea. Again, it was the last place I wanted to be, but when I saw my cousin and his friends wandering around... If it's the last place you want to be, then why would you go there? Why would you go there if it's the last? Obviously, they see you, they're gonna throw you in to mess around with you since you're scared, bro. Common sense, bro. But honestly, if you're ever in this situation, bro, don't get don't get peer pressured. You know what you do is you walk away. Cause if you do jump in or whatever happens and you you get fucked, bro, you just giving them the the. the <laughs> Why can't I talk, bro? You just giving them the ple pleasure, right? Yeah. The pleasure that they wanted that of you, you know. I feel like that's not the right word. I will figure out what I was trying to say, but yeah, I know I can't talk. Let's get well, let's just get back to the video. Pounded fast, and I was afraid they'd do something so terrible that I could lose my life. So when I had a few options left, I took advantage of blending into the crowd who were in the pool and held on to one of the donut floaters. However, as soon as I got in, I couldn't tell which was worse: being bullied by those rough. I thought he was scared of the water. How is he inside the water? Indians are holding on to dear life amidst the waters I feared so much. As large waves approached, I shut my eyes and braced for impact. While the he was scared for them to throw him in, in the wave pool. But then he jumps in the wave pool to hide from them. This don't make sense to me, chat. It don't make sense. My body constricted. But it's pretty being dumb. Surrounded I'm, by I'm just people, saying it's pretty dumb. You know what I'm saying? Cousin hop in the pool and approach my direction. What the hell is his problem? Bro, the way he, he looks creepy as fuck. He's coming all towards him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no. eyes as he made long strides towards my direction. Then, all of a sudden, I was no longer bashed by waves. Instead, I felt a deadly suction force pulling my legs. At first, I thought it could have been my cousin or any of his friends trying to give me a good scare. But what happened next turned out to be my worst nightmare. The unidentifiable force that yanked my entire body towards the center was two times stronger than the Earth's gravitational pull. So, as I glanced at the people around me, most of them were yanking themselves out of the pool leaving me behind, along with several vacant donut floaters. Help! Somebody help! I'm over here! I frantically called out to anyone who could hear me. But when I looked at the people on land, all they did was whisper to each other and take videos of me as if they didn't care. So, I cussed in frustration, calling out to my parents, who were probably busy chatting with my relatives, unaware of my impending doom. Nevertheless, I paddled relentlessly. So there is no lifeguards. There is none. Bro, okay, like I get some stories, Ariel, but I'm, I'm not believing in this story. Yeah, I'm not believing. For me to escape. Then, moments later, a life buoy was thrown at me, and immediately I clung to it until I was safe again on land. Witnessing the perilous sight of a sinkhole forming at the base of the pool, sucking in everything in its path. And then, I saw my cousin, who took a moment to glance at me before he completely disappeared, along with the floaters that were left behind. Help me, Jake! Grab my hands! Ah! His 
Ross's eyes spoke of fear. However, there was nothing else I could do. It all happened too fast, and I barely made it out alive. And that's when it occurred to me that I almost died, too. To this day, I feel sick to my stomach, knowing that some supernatural force took my cousin away. But like the saying goes, better him than me. Like the saying goes, these stories are fake as fuck, chat. These stories are horribly fake. Chat. Oh, whoa, 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 what's going on here? This is what I was trying to do. This is what I was trying to do. This is what I was trying to do. No, no, my fucked up hair. Chat, what the fuck was these stories, chat? They were so bad. Like, come on. You know what, I think I'm going to start doing animated stories because I think I can do better. I, I, I think I can do better, I'm not going to lie. Because, bro, he said they were real. They were nowhere near real. Let's be honest, they were not real. They were super fake. Like, the, the first one, 30 people fell off from the side. Like, bro, chill out, 30 people. 30 people, when you said there's a, a wait after every two person. This makes sense. And the second one... A huge fucking hole happened and it started sucking the bro chill out either way and hey, make sure you like subscribe a hey, 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 you, fu you, you, you fuck with a jacket you know what call you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying cops it yesterday i believe either way damn 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 i i, I just proved that i'm broke cop down black friday okay no, no. Either way, ignore the hoodie. We don't even want to talk about it no more. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification. It means a lot. It, may, it helps me go go live every day. Shit, today I went live twice. Twice. Come on, respect the hustle. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Either way, it's been your boy Yusuf GBM, which means Yusuf gonna be smoked. Peace. Let me end it.